Anita, your favorite diva, and I'm back. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, let the diva know you stopped by. Make sure you subscribe if you like the vibe. If this is your first time here, welcome and welcome back, Diva Squad. To the so I give it three out of five stars. It knew what it was, and it delivered just that. Doing a trailer reaction. And Dion. Dion on Diva the Diva's channel. All right, love and marriage real. This is the reunion part three. Child, Miss Betty, Miss Betty. I don't even know why you was even on this show. Mm -mm. CMS, CMS going at it between male. She don't even have no issue with male. I guess the issue is on behalf of her daughter. Your daughter grown. I'm gonna need you to go somewhere and sit your ass down, okay? Oh y'all. I need a lower camera. <laughs> oh my god, you get over <laughs> a mess. Okay, y'all. Guess what? We got company. So I gotta switch up some things. Y'all switch up some things as I introduce Monique Nicole. <laughs> Hi, hey. everyone. Hey, Nita girl. I am sorry I'm late. That's okay. I slept past my alarm. The only reason why I'm here right now is because my sister called me to check up on me and I heard my phone buzzing. Ciao. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You look thank so you so much. Oh, <laughs> you. Make me feel cute. Oh, I think somebody else complimented me. I think it was Monique. <laughs> no, you look so pretty and cute and you youthful and just like a little <laughs> like a little ray of sunshine. I try. Yes. Are you streaming? No, well, maybe I should. I know I'm since I'm late, but let me yeah, I think try. sisters in the kitchen is over here, but she'll probably jump on yours for sure. Oh Lord. Larry is a mess, y'all. <laughs> y'all just don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you can go ahead. Make sure y'all liking the video. Like, like, like. Hmm. Let's see. No, child, no. When, when Mel said it could be up and stuck, it could be whatever you wanted to be. I said, I know that's right. Me Betty, you one mama too too late. Miss Wanda. She didn't already got Mel out of her comfort zone with trying to respect the elders and stuff like that. Respect people, mamas. But baby, guess what? We are grown. Grown, grown. We are both mothers. We both, we are both grown. And she said, I'm I can get with you the way you want to be got with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was that shit was so funny. I had a video of that too, but because of time, I'm not gonna play it, but it was hilarious. She said it can be whatever you want it to be, up and stuck. <laughs> I have to give it to Mel because oh my stomach. Sorry, y'all. I'm really not doing okay if I'm being real with y'all. I'm trying to push through. Um, I have to give it to Mel because when she was going back and forth, she's continued to call her Miss Betty. And I thought, wow, like I have to give you props because even though this woman is a witch to you, you are still showing trying to show, you know, some level of some type of respect which most people wouldn't give two craps about respecting no damn miss betty so i have to give it to mel for still yeah. having in her to you know at least try to show an ounce of respect to someone who yeah. probably yeah. doesn't deserve it yes mm. now i'm gonna call bullshit on stormy when she turned to mel and said mel i like you you did like her at one point you did but you don't like her no more you don't like her no more so I'm calling bullshit on that. But she says she respects her for what she's built. And she doesn't want her mom to have a problem with her because disrespect her. And I got it. So how y'all feel about mm -hmm. that? You feel, you feel okay about that? Or do you, uh, do you feel like she's gassing you up? Or do you feel like well, I, don't know. I don't call I don't think it's BS in my opinion I think that's how she genuinely feels I think the only issue that she had with Mel was that incident I think basically she was trying to say like 
aside from the situation, I I liked you. Like I really did like you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're cool. Like, but that one situation really kind of threw me um threw me right. for a loop. You know, so that's how I took it. Yeah, because you remember when um when she came, when when they got to some kind of event together and Stormy yeah. didn't speak to her. Is that what you're I'm talking sorry, about? That again. You remember when they got to um, some kind of event and she spoke to Stormy, but Stormy didn't speak to her? And she was like, okay, I saw that you didn't speak to me. Yeah, that was so rude. That, that's what I was saying. I was like, mm. but you have to be fair as far as time frame. She could have, that could have been more fresh uh, time wise to the incident. She was, I'm not defending it, but I'm just saying she was still in her feelings. She right. was in her fees, as you say. <laughs> and you know that's that's how I again I don't I think it was rude I, I'm not defending it by any means right um, I think you know by the time they taped the reunion she had time for things to kind of process and settle in and reevaluate x y and z so that's how I take it but you know I don't I feel know. I feel like I feel like Stormy Allegiance kind of like she's trying to get more neutral again because her and Tisha didn't fell out. No, that's what you think. Okay, that, that's why I think that you know. But Mel wasn't believing her. She was looking at her like this. <laughs> yeah, she kind of had a, a, a interesting face. Yeah, right, girl. Look, what I say last week, y'all. Didn't I say the mm -hmm. devil? Didn't I say a demon, a devil? I told she gives me Tokyo Tony energy. Oh no, not Tokyo, Lord. We can only have one of them. Mm -mm. We don't need no more Tokyos yeah. in the world. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know, but that that demon you used to see. Demon. It. Mm. Look at that mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I need you to smile more. Is, is is she the one that the husband don't live with her? I don't know. All I know is we gave him back too, too much time. Anyway. I don't think we gave him back way too much time. <laughs> On to the next. Right. So Junior and um Stormy, I'm like, did y'all want to hire the dude? Did you want to fire the dude? Why are you sitting up here crying? He done moved on. He want to save save their relationship between family, and he's moved on. Now, why Stormy crying? I have no fucking idea. I don't know. I'm surprised they even got a damn set. I mean, I'm really surprised he got a segment. Like, I'm very shocked. Exactly. exactly. We know what that's what I'm saying. That's why we don't need all these parts. All we need is like two parts. You know what that tells me? That tells me they had tried to. He was he was their backup plan because they had tried to get the sister on and she turned it down. So they were like, "Well, shit, we got to put something in the segment." So let's grab the damn cousin. That's mm -hmm. how I see it. Mm -hmm. This was a waste of time. We don't give a shit. No shade. Junior was literally on a episode. Like it wasn't. It'd be so different if their situation spanned over a few episodes or something. But we got mm -hmm. one episode of dialogue from him. Like he had That's no it. business being on the reunion stage. Like no business at all being there. Like exactly. I, I don't understand. Exactly. And shout out to Larry. I want to read this comment real quick. He said he's gonna start a new a new channel with Nita called "I Can't Stand You" and we're gonna drink wine and fuss with each other. <laughs> I like that. Now, who is this? Because you don't be in our in our comments on a That's regular. Larry. Who? That's Larry. That's Larry. 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 Oh my God, Larry! Wow, <laughs> that's so dope. That's Larry from the Marsh Channel. I did not know that was Larry. That's yeah, so he comes dope. over here from time to time for reality TV. Not well, not with us together. He's been in some of my other videos in the comments and stuff. Oh, okay, Larry. Hey, he said he watched. He watched the love and hip hop. It's like no, <laughs> okay, Larry. Not you and your wife watching love and hip hop together. Let me find out. <laughs> you know, I would do that, but I'm trying to protect I my. Like Larry. Listen, I've been a fan. I've been watching Larry on the Lamont's channel before I met all the whole gang. So I really, I like Larry. Mm -mm. Stormy must look like her father because <laughs> Ooh, the shade of it all, baby. You know, Maurice, you Maurice? Go straight no chaser. Mm, mm, mm. Of course, of course. She looks like her mother and Bill like her. No. 
All right, y'all. We give me Miss Betty segment. Like we're forty seven minutes in. We like, come on, let's. No, I was reading the comments. I'm just acknowledging the comments. Betty, we give we giving Miss Betty like so much shine that she don't deserve, and she need both time. These two her faces. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, baby, this <laughs> Nina. This is Nina. a lot. This is a lot. Oh, you know what I'm cutting up over? I'm cutting over the word sexist because, baby, coming from you, Negro, you, <laughs> Marcel. <laughs> oh, baby. We talked about, we talk about a lot in this segment. If the Fletchers weren't on this show, right? Preach. Preach, Nita. If the Fletchers were not on this show, Preach they did Nita. a hell of a job their first season in bringing their family element, um, yeah. their relationship to Martell and Melody, also dealing with everybody at the Houston. They hosted a party, the Houston of it all. Mm -hmm. They did a phenomenal job. They bought the drama mm -hmm. and they brought the conversation. Okay. I cannot continue. Um, I can give it up to them. They are my number one couple of yes. Love and Marriage Huntsville season six. Okay. I need, I agree with everything you just said. I need the Fletchers to be upgraded to a full time cast member. You see how Kiki was in the intros this season? I need next season for the Fletchers to be in the intros. I could write a letter about them. I don't yep. go up to a lot of people. It takes it takes me a while for me to start going up for you, but yeah. I don't know what it is about them. I think they just feel different. They feel they feel so authentic and mm -hmm. they have not they have not been tainted by that reality TV bug that gets people and I hope it doesn't happen to them cuz usually it happens people second or third season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pray that they can stay they can remain true to themselves stay authentic, stay humbled, and they will be okay. But I think they were probably the best thing to ever happen to the show. I, I don't know. That's why I said I'm going to still watch. I, 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 if they're going to be on the show, I'm still here for the Fletchers. I'm so here for the Fletchers. I don't know why I like them so much. Even with Nell's little ways, I still like her. I still respect her as a woman. And I really enjoy them. And I really hope they continue on the show, continue to be themselves, continue to be authentic and share their story. I, I, I appreciate Nell keeping it real and being like, look, this reality TV thing is not for everybody. Like, like she was apprehensive. It looked like Carlos had to really twist her arm to get her on the show. And she was like, well, shit, you, do you see why? And that's some real shit. Mm -hmm. That's the real when I think people just watch TV sometimes and we forget like what people are really signing up for. Like you're really signing up for your life to be exposed. Exposed. You're never people you can looking look in, people with looking that. with a microscope. Yes. Going through your life with a fine tooth comb. And the thing is, once you jump into this world, you can't reverse it. Right. Once right. you out there, you out there, baby. So and that's why I respect yeah. Nail because Nail says she had to think about it because they they have been featured on the show plenty of seasons prior to. Yep. Yeah. She was just like, I don't know if I want to open that can of worms. Right. But just like you said, it's no putting it back. Mm hmm. So, I, but you know, like I said, I think with maturity, mm -hmm. and I think with um. A little bit of wisdom. Yes, she's a high head. We got that. Yeah, we she got don't take her. no mess. She don't take no mess. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They they call people uh, who don't take mess high heads, but no, mm -hmm. we just don't take no mess. Okay, so that's right. what that is. But yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off for a year. Oh no no, yeah. you didn't, baby. You didn't. We on the same page. We. I, I thought she nailed it for this reunion yeah. look. Oh my mm, she yes, so you look. Nina, don't you think she looked the best out of all the ladies? Yes. Yes. Like collectively, you know, I told you what would I tell you? I like it up. I like yeah. it. Yeah, you Maybe like I'm you up. You. It just kind of gives you. You can see your collarbone. You can see all yeah. that. Girl, she <laughs> nailed it for this look. She did. Now, she looked George, George Jefferson over there? How? Uh oh. Up. I mean, he looks sharp. He looks sharp, but he looks sharp. <laughs> it's not my taste, but he looks decent. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He looks well put together. 
And what I will say is that it feels like he took a risk. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. how, how, you know, yeah, you can come out there in a black suit or a blue suit and look like a lawyer, but I feel like he did something different. And for that, I'll give him respect for that. But let's yeah. go ahead and get into this because they got a whole lot of stuff going on, okay? Yeah, so yeah. Martel calling him a sexist because he didn't <laughs> mention his wife's business, business when he mm-hmm. asked him about he asked him a direct question about his cleaning business, but he's gonna call after he reflects on it, he's gonna call him sexist for not even bringing up your wife's business. I say Martin, I mean Marso. If you don't get the hell up out of here with that. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> Joke.com. Ask it shot sharp. <laughs> that was a mess. And y'all, did y'all did y'all catch Kimmy? Did y'all catch Kimmy? I like it. I like it. When Carlos said you calling um mm-hmm. you calling Chris uh Rick, I mean you sexist. calling Chris sexist, that's rich. That's rich coming from you. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. I bet you do. No, I think she was saying she likes what Carlos said. Like, I like that mm-hmm. she like Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, because didn't she or Maurice say, oh, that's what we call it now? Rich? I like it. <laughs> I could have sworn she's commenting on what Carlos Carlos's comment. What y'all think? What y'all think? Put it down. I think she was co-signing Marceau, but I don't no, know. I could I could feel a little about that. She was she was taken aback and she was commenting on what Carlos said when he said, No, that's rich coming from you. And she was like, That's rich. I like is that what she was like, is that what we say now? Okay, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. See, different perspectives. Okay. We got it. But y'all let me know. Disrespectful. Was Martel disrespectful when communicating with his wife? Nail, hell, yes. And yep. when he asked him, did he deserve an apology? Mm-hmm. Do Nail deserve an apology for you screaming in her face? He said, we deserve to give each other apologies. And then she was like, well, you walked up on me. And he was mm-hmm. like, well I, well, I apologize for walking up on you. Like a child, y'all. I said, what is wrong with this fool? This Negro is gone. It's gone, y'all. Y'all, we still got to talk. We, we have to talk about the interview. We have to talk Girl, about the interview. I didn't even watch it yet, but I've just heard about it. I can't believe everybody said the interview with Tasha K was like two. I'm not watching no two hour interview with Martel. Martel and his goddamn lies. We're not going to watch I'm it either. Go on YouTube. And I'm, I'm going to talk about his points. I'm, I'm okay. going to talk about his talking points and we're going to okay. talk about it. We ain't watching that shit. I know he brought up Ari- Ariane and was. Talking slick about getting her onto the show or something like that. It was basically it was like a male a male bashing uh, session, right? But then he but then he don't want to talk about it. Shut up. He is male sick. chimes in. Male chimes in and say, "I've had a private conversation with Chris. How he communicates with Neil, and mm-hmm. I've told him that it's disrespectful." They are our elders. And she was like, oh. She was like, I didn't know we was elders. I, was, I look good for an elder. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do. But you, you still, like elder. still an elder, baby. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Embrace it, girl. Oh, my God. Embrace it. <laughs> this, this is almost 50 right here. Embrace it. It's all right. It is okay. So, uh, Chris said that he didn't defend them because he already, already knows um, Nail's temperature. He knows Martel's temperature. He kind of acts like they're brother and sister, and they're always going to clash if they don't have the same opinions or whatever. So, <sighs> whatever. I mean, I feel like he need to buck up at him because I felt like Martel actually ran a muck all over Chris this season oh. from squatting in the house. From- he sure did disrespecting his wife by screaming and running up on her and all that stuff. But you see, Martel... Hold on, y'all. Martel... Let me get him together real quick. I think... Ouch. 
y'all know Martel's so full of crap. He's the type of person, like, you honestly, you can't get, you can't be nice to Martel because he's one of those people where it's like you give an inch and he takes a mile, no matter who you are. And I feel like he did that to Chris because he felt like he could. He knows that Chris is a, a calm, cool, collected guy, good temperament. And I feel like sometimes he feels like he probably could run over him. And he also he probably also uses that big brother um, you know, thing to his advantage and you know, takes advantage because there's no way Martel could have done that to another um I don't even know what title he is, if he's a broker or whatever his, whatever his title is. But there's no way Martel would have done that to another person in Chris's right. position. But because it was Chris, he thought he had more wiggle room. Mm -hmm. And he essentially um, took advantage. Yeah, yeah. Because of the bro code. We know we're not going to give each other too much. Larry, chime in at any time, okay? <laughs> oh, great. Larry, yeah, you <laughs> The link, you want the link? <laughs> not a lot. Oh, no, 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 listen, absolutely. listen, absolutely not. I'm, I've been sipping already. He he beat and had me cuss his ass out on his. No, no, no. <laughs> Larry knows how to push the buttons. I'll just say that. And yes, oh, no, know. I'm not supposed. I'm not supposed to take the bait. But when I've been drinking, you know, that's why he said he want to come. He want to do a channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. Um, the Espo. <laughs> why was why didn't Tisha invite the Fletchers? It was an oversight. <laughs> right. We could just say that because you know Tisha does not like to take accountability. No, nope, she um, don't. <laughs> she said it was only so I was just focusing on the core six. And what is Stormy a part of courses? Oh mm -hmm. no, but I got a relationship with Stormy. Okay, girl. <laughs> she go my goddamn nerves. Like, I mean, we be calling you, we call you out on your bullshit, and we still gotta kind of walk you through mm -hmm. all the time, all the time. Anyway, this Houston apology, Kiki, um, what do they call it? Crashing. Crashing mm -hmm. the Houston trip. Now, honestly, it feels like Kiki was a part of the cast. So I remember when the Fletchers said that they were having a cast trip and we're all going. So that means Martel couldn't say that no, Melody couldn't say no. We gotta put our differences to the side and we gotta go. Now, how Kiki got left out, I don't know. But I don't know. So he had to come groveling, talking about I want to come to the Houston trip, and so they had hesitation. They really didn't want to do it, but you know, you know, Kiki is taking one for the team. Cause you, I'm sorry, they can't tell me otherwise. Production wanted her ass to be there. Mm -hmm. Production reached out to her and said, "You know what? We really want you to be on this trip." try to make a way to be a part of it and she's really taking the the heat for it and i just i don't even know how to feel about all that okay i agree i agree because she wants to stay in good graces with production i i don't know why she wants to be on this show so much i mean maybe to check it out I, I honestly don't feel like carlos is paying them people all like that anyway oh. that's a whole that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day Oh Lord. But I, I I don't know because I mean, like like Tisha said, with all the problems that she has, what would be the benefit of getting dragged on social media, um, messing up in anything or everything that was going on in her life with things being exposed, like a drug addiction and infidelities in the marriage? It's just like so then we we, we move on. Let's let's move on. Let's move on to the conversation, sorry for the pixelated pictures, y'all. That's all I could get. Um, <laughs> the door is closed. The door is closed, y'all. Closed. So, she said, um, she, she was like, I know this girl. And she shouldn't have been on reality TV. And so, while Kiki, Kiki said it was, the whole intent was for, 
Sorry. What's that? Uh-huh. Right. I was about, I thought my alarm was going off. Um, okay, no, it's somebody outside. <laughs> my okay. bad. Mm-hmm. All right. So the door is closed. So oh y'all. Why are y'all letting me say this? This line of questioning that Carlos had for oh for Kiki. No, for Chris and Nail about the infidelity. Yeah. It wasn't even on the show. So why are you directing those type of questions to me? It was on the show. Well, the situation didn't happen when they were on the show. But they did. No, so it was brought up. It was brought up. So we're trying to get to know, know them. They are in the yeah, They're mentors. Okay, yeah. They're mentors. Okay. Uh, cheating and all that stuff. How you work through cheating and where cheating yep. is not the the breaking point yep. for you know some marriages. Some marriages can work through cheating. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was on the show. So he was grilling them. And what I want to say, I'm going to clap it up for them how they handled the questioning because the questioning was crazy. How did you find out Chris was cheating? She said somebody told her. She said, he said, oh, I thought maybe somebody would have, did, did the mistress step, step to you? She was like, ain't nobody stepping to me. I said, I know that's right, because Nell does not play. Do you hear me? She don't mm-hmm. play. And so she knows she don't play. And she said, ain't nobody stepping to me. Okay. So was mm-hmm. it with multiple people or just one person? He said, no, it was just one person. How long were you separated? 18 months. Why are y'all back together? I said, God. That's a whole lot. That's a whole lot. Okay. They said, she said, love will make you do crazy things. I love them. Girl. Bash his head in today and think about love tomorrow. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's see. Nail and male's relationship. Oh, okay. So then that makes um male chime in that's why we had them as mentors because they work through it and our our relationship is really genuine and solid and she was just saying they don't pick sides they don't do none of that they just support you and try to do what's best or whatever let me get to these comments y'all y'all is out here is he (laughs) he's a sexist larry he's a sexist (laughs) Yeah, Kiki said she always wanted to do TV. And mm-hmm. Carlos asked, I'm going to get there. Carlos asked, did you pick the, the show over your relationship with Kiki? We'll get there, but I'm about to read the question. I'm about to read the question. Good question. They need to um, leave each other where they at. Okay, look like we're back on. Uh... Here I go. Yes, boo. Here we go. Ooh. People can recover from infidelity, but they have to put in the work. It does take work because once trust is broken, that's hard to come back from. It's a wrap for me. It's a no for me, though. I'm sorry. I'm a Taurus, and I, I just don't. I just don't. I can't. That's why my marriage was in so much turmoil because I didn't trust. And what? Time I had to get a divorce and I moved on and I trust that person with my life. Okay. All right. So um let's see where we're going. Um, okay, so we're gonna wrap it up with this or whatever. And they're basically saying that the door is closed. It was like, is this relationship irreparable? And he said Tisha unequivocally says no, it's not repairable. She says she didn't break it. She didn't fracture it. And so she keeps trying to repair, 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 which we did see in the beginning of the season. Kiki told her, I'm not going to say nothing about your marriage no more. And then in the next episode, she can say something about that child marriage. Let that man cheat in peace. If that's what you're going to do, let him cheat in peace. But because she, (laughs) Kiki is so hungry to be on TV She's acting like she's going to expose this whole, um, what is it, witch hunt about Marceau. We know that nigga is cheating. We know. We don't care. Let him cheat in peace. Next. Like, what the fuck? That's why, that's why Tisha is so adamant in saying that 
She wants our. She wants me to divorce him. She wants our marriage to break up. Because why are you working overtime to make me see something that I got my head in the sand? I got my head in the sand, and you keep try trying to bring my head up out the sand. Talk about girl, look at this. No, I got my head in the sand. Let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Because you know I like to play devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. What do you do to me? In the situation, somebody approached Kiki with said information. And she, I guess, went back and told Tisha. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where it gets murky. Because did Tisha tell Kiki to talk to the person and get information? Like, did she? What? I'm trying to... Once... That first step happened. What was the next step? What was Tisha's reaction? Did she say, Kiki, please leave it alone. Don't engage with this person about said information. Or did she say, yeah, girl, call him up. Tell me what he said. Like, I'm trying to, rem like, I'm trying to know what happened. And everybody's talking half and cold, half truths. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like you. I like to know what happened from, from, the beginning. Don't tell me in the middle of the story. I want to know what happened from the beginning. So I'm trying to figure out what had happened. You know, so I don't, I just <sighs> and that's I how she feel too. like I also feel like Tisha's one of those women where you you really you can't win with her because if you try to be the good friend, the good cousin and be like, hey girl, somebody gave me this information, it's like she the type that will be mad at her friend or cousin about something but won't be mad at Marcel. I don't know. It just gets very complicated for me. Yeah. But I don't know. You said if you don't have pictures or videos, it's all hearsay. I mean, that's the thing. And but, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not, I am not mad at Tisha for staying in her marriage. Now, don't get me wrong. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And yeah, it's not a good look if there's multiple rumors that your husband's cheating on you, don't get me wrong for me. see, I move different. If I had the money and the resources they have, I'm not saying it's right, but I'd probably hire a PI, but that's me. Me too. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and tell no woman to divorce their husband and break up their family off of rumors. I need, I do need evidence. I don't give a damn. Yeah. And I don't think nobody should make her feel like a fool because Melody didn't do that. Melody had proof and stayed and tried to make it work in her marriage. So we can't be hypocrites now. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to be fair. Like if there's no hardcore proof, hardcore <laughs> evidence, I'm not going to tell her to uh, end her marriage. Larry said, if there's no violence, then stay. Oh, Larry. Okay, boo. <laughs> I, can't, I can't with him. I can't with him. Larry be having my damn nerves shot the shingles trying to I'm not engaging with him. He is a mess. All I can all I can do is laugh at him. That's all, right. that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Um uh there was oh there was also oh that's my last slide. Okay, so let's talk about this Houston trip. Carlos asked about the woman that came in with Martel. Oh, this was a damn joke. The he's getting a massage. Negro, please. That girl ain't no after baby. 12 midnight. Nigga, please. You must think we boo no massage table. Mm. Oh, oh, the, the table is my bed. What fucking yeah, he's so you know stupid. See what I'm saying? That's why me and the I just, I'm thinking about this. I'm we're not even having a conversation, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm, that shit kind of runs my blood. <laughs> it runs my blood pressure up. Good night, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Is he gone? <laughs> no, I'm, just, oh, okay. I'm saying I'm saying good night to his comment. His oh, last yeah. comment. Right. <laughs> uh, he said the, the lady was there for an hour and a half. Where was the massage table? He said his bed. So stupid. Carlos asked, is it disrespectful? 
Nell mm -hmm. says yes. Marceau says yes. Kimmy says she doesn't care. And when I tell mm -hmm. you she said it with the lackadaisical, I don't care. And I'm with her. I don't give a shit because Martell is exhausting. I, I, I honestly, I don't mm. give a damn. I don't care, baby. Nope. No, pause. Goodbye and good night. Because I'm gonna tell you why I didn't like Kimmy's response. Why? Because she never supports women. Oh, that's a strong statement to make. She's always caping for the men, right? Mm. Case in point. Kimmy said, didn't you get a massage too, ma'am? Oh, shit. She was like, oh, yeah, I did. But y'all don't think that's disrespectful? He go Marte. Y'all don't think that's disrespectful? It was a woman. No, we don't think You can't compare the two. <laughs> she came equipped with her equipment. Mm -hmm. Everything was professional. I got her through this uh, Zeal app yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. and all this other stuff. No, it was not disrespectful. Mm -mm -mm. But, mm -hmm. you know, like this whole, like, no, I, no. I'm going to call bullshit on you because you was trying to call male out and her shit was innocent. When you know that that man shit look sketchy, mm. questionable. Okay, mm. you know he did. He had goddamn sex. Talking about he ain't had no orgasm. He is so lame to me. Mm -mm -mm. He is. He is. Girl, side. Uh, girl, I'm. I'm telling you, I'm so upset that she was able to put the wool over my eyes for so long. Y'all, when I tell you I used to go up for Kimmy and she is such a disappointment to, for me now, mm. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. She case for hotel no matter what. No matter what. And mm. period. I can't fuck with you on that. I can't. She sat there quietly the whole time until mm. it was time Shout out to the veil perspective, y'all. If you don't, um, if you have not subscribed to her channel, subscribe to her channel, check her out. Her commentary is A1. She be having me cracking up. Hopefully, we'll get together because she is in the DMV. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Check her out. She, I she does all that. reality TV. Huh? Yes, I follow her, but I feel like I don't be getting her notifications when she's, um, when she drops a video. Let me make sure. I turn on my notification bell. She does all of the she does all of the reality shows, all of them, even the white ones. Y'all want to see them girls? She do them too. I don't watch them. I, I do watch her Beverly Hills one. That's the only white one I watch. Um, but she does them and she do them on time. Okay, and her should be fun. Damn, I be cracking up, girl. Yes, he is a waste of space, a waste of flesh. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. He is, he is what I call a lost cause. A waste of flesh, girl. He is a lost cause. Oh, yes. What's his, what's, what's his mama name? I forgot. She should have swallowed him or got an abortion, girl. Because this is Ooh! not even. I mean, I ain't going to say the A word. Marcel should have been a heaven baby. He should have been a heaven baby or in the toilet. I can't do it. Oh, good night. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, yes, she fooled us for four whole seasons, and she wait till she goes through a a life scare to turn her dark side on. Like, I mean, I would say her dark side. That was a mind fuck for me. I was just like, I want to be so sympathetic, and I am sympathetic to what she's going through. However, comma, that other side of it, like, I'm trying to... I don't think she has a dark side. I wouldn't go as far as saying that about her. I don't... I just don't... Okay. I, I don't agree with that part. I don't think... No, man. I'm not saying dark. It's just a vast contrast of what she was earlier. So I'm not mm -hmm. saying that she like Mama Betty. I'm not saying that, that okay. like she did. Okay, I'm, that, that's what I'm not saying. Because <laughs> there's, there's levels to it now. Girl, we used, I think everybody used to go up for Kimmy 
when she went, her. when I knew I could not put my cape on for her, and you cannot put your cape on for all women because a lot of women be for these niggas. I'm telling you, when when she went up on that um, what's that show, Fox O, mm, and did that uh, interview with Funky Dineve and all that shit, I was like, bitch, the 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 motherfucker is burnt, like. I can't want more for you than you want for yourself. So if that's what you like, go ahead. That, that's why I be telling men, like, a lot of times, like, men want people who aren't reachable. Like, y'all can't reach me. I'm over the dumb shit. Like, I'm, I don't play that. And I'm not, I'm not playing those games. But there are plenty of women because the programming and society, the culture mm-hmm programs the women like that so there are plenty of women out there but don't be sitting up here trying to think you're gonna get instagram baddies or you're gonna get like that's out your i mean but there there are a couple because I, I feel like kimmy kimmy is fire like kimmy, for kimmy. Most, get a kimmy right kimmy, beautiful beautiful you locked up you locked up i hope yeah. you act like it i hope you act like it Mm-hmm. Let me get to these comments. Uh, she's never taken up for male. Never. Not swallowed up. <laughs> Who was talking mm-hmm. about swallowed? Nah, because you said it. You said something. Yes. I was done when she went. I'm telling you, I was done. I was done. That's what they like. And you just got to let them. Like I said, it's people for everybody out here. I just don't like when people try to convert people to their side. Like, I mean, no. Like, we think better of ourselves. We can do better for ourselves. We can. We don't have to take the bottom of the barrel. We, you know, we can elevate and we can try to, you know what I'm saying? You're right. Not over the dumb shit, girl. Listen. Listen, listen. I think her and Tisha made a pact to have like um an alliance because they're the Scots. 1.0, 2.0. So you probably are correct on that. You probably are. Um... Oh yeah, there was another thing. Nell said he they was talking about why Martel and Nell argue. She said he be coming at her, him. She be coming at him from stuff from years ago. I get offended, but he means triggered. Okay, that's what he meant. But that's he said offended. That's what he said. Nell said you cheated for five years though. He said so now it's a time frame on cheating. Yes. He said, Deserve the pass, and exactly. I said, "Damn Skippy, damn Skippy, Negro, you got you see, you are such a p a piece of s h i t. How can you sit up there? Like, what is going on in your brain? You sit up there and you know you cheated on your wife, had an affair on your wife for five effing years as okay. if that was not insult enough. Then to add insult to injury, you get the side piece pregnant and you want to fix your lips to say, well, she cheated too. Well, she cheated too. Well, she cheated too. Nigga, What? I'm you, telling you. I don't give a shit if she cheated. She, if Mel cheated, I don't give a shit. I'll say it right now. If Mel cheated on Martel, she had every effing right to do it because guess what, bitch? It's called getting my lick back, nigga. You had an affair on me for five years and you got a bitch pregnant and you don't think Three I times. deserve to get no lick back? You don't think I'm, I'm not going to get my lick back? I'm not saying it's right, but at this point, we fighting, we in hell together then. We fighting in this bitch. It is what it is. You cheated right. on me for five years. You had, an, not even cheated, you had an affair for five years. Now, I don't believe Mel cheated. I think he's just desperate and grabbing, grasping at straws. But if she did cheat on his ass, she was well within her right. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like the audacity, the nerve of it all. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Larry said something. Let's see what Larry said. Uh-uh. <laughs> so if a man goes downtown but doesn't penetrate, did he smash? If the answer is no, he didn't smash, he didn't cheat. No, he didn't smash. Did he cheat? Yes, that is still cheating. That's that, still is cheating. Called, that is called oral sex. He cheated. Sex. That's- that is sex. oral sex. It's cheating. <laughs> you, you cheater. You cheater. I love how y'all be trying to spin it, baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
it, it is cheating, Larry. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that, like, I think he follows the show. Because, like I said, he's been on in the comments. He got this woman pregnant two, uh, two other times. Oh, I forgot. The third about time that. she had the baby. Mm. So all throughout his marriage, he's having raw, unprotected sex. He don't know who who Coleslaw sleeping with. Coleslaw could be sleeping with just like she's sleeping with somebody else's husband. She could be sleeping with two other people's husbands on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. So he's putting male's life in danger. Yep. Like no, absolutely the fuck not. No, it's cheating. And um, we ain't talking like about no oral sex. When we talk when we talk about Martel, we are not talking about oral sex, baby. So I mean, I, I understand the question. So Nita, you know, can, you like can, can you highlight? Can you highlight Larry's latest comment? Okay, the whole she cheated, right, girl? He's girl, one no. of them. People, he's one of them people that want to pee on pee on you and call it rain. We're not doing that. Getting your lick back is worse because if someone cheats without intent to hurt you and you cheat on them with the intent to hurt them, you're wrong. <laughs> Maybe, I would agree with that, but he didn't just cheat one time. He had an affair with the same woman. She was the other woman. Larry, make sure you come back when I break down his interview with Tasha K tomorrow. I have to do it tomorrow. He had an affair for five years, so when you... When you um, when you're a repeat offender, when you continue to cheat, you are making a choice and you and you are making a choice to hurt your spouse. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's why that's why I highlighted she had two heaven babies and she actually produced a real baby in real life called Knox. OK. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I feel like the intention is there. Mm -hmm. Do you not see that? Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. All right, that whole she cheating. Yeah, he's just deflecting, um, projecting, he's and all that. that. So he's all that. Straws. And Monique Johnson made a good point. She was like, if that was the case, Martel would have been saying this since day one. He would have been saying it yeah. since day one. This ne he's Negro twisted. just just started saying he's it. Twisted. He just he started putting the narrative. So I don't I don't believe him. So he got his woman pregnant. We're mad at him for supporting. <laughs> I can't. I can't. We're being a troll. We're mad at him for supporting the black community, trying to expand and influence our reach. I'm Good night, done, Larry. <laughs> Good night, Larry. <laughs> but no, stay. No, I for for for. I want you to stay because I like reading your comments. It's a mess. Right. I, I don't have conversation, but I like reading comments. <laughs> yes. Once the contract is broken, all bets are off. So you can't tell me I cheated too if you broke the contract, nigga. We just out here doing us. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't believe um, Martel was just sleeping with her. You think he was fooling with others too, girl? I don't even think. I don't think he, he even has the the mind capacity to do that because he is less than smart. And I don't know. I, maybe he tried, and then once he 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 might might have tried a couple of other women, and once mm -hmm. he got the dummy. Coleslaw, he was like, "Oh yeah, that's the perfect fit for me." And then I think he stopped on her. Now he might have, he might have started out cheating with a lot of different women, trying to find the right one. That's just my opinion. What you think about that one? I mean, yeah, Monique. That's a good question. That's I mean, I, at this point, I don't put I don't put nothing past Martel. So it is quite possible that he did sleep with other women. It's very it's very possible. Again, I don't I don't know for sure, but it's possible, and I would not put it past him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had a boy. She had heaven babies. I'm sorry. Oh, you laughing now, Larry? Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, and Kiki and her husband. Um, oh, I thought, did we talk about that? I think we're done with that. Uh, she said know. she had the infidelities, and she was trying to. Damn. Keisha said she was trying to protect her. Do you think she was trying to protect her? I think in the beginning, possibly, maybe. But I don't give a damn if Kiki want to be a fool and if he they want to cheat on each other. <laughs> have at it. I don't have energy to be trying to tell people about their marriage. I don't give a shit. Do what you want to do, child. Y'all both look stupid. Next. 
Okay, so um, Kiki says she wants to reconcile, but Tisha is very adamant. I'm just reading my little notes. Mm -hmm. um, Tisha said that Kiki tried to block her daughter's number out of her, her daughter's phone. Mm -hmm. Kiki absolutely denied it, but that's what they're saying. And they yeah. said they really want to move on because it, no, Carlos said he wants to move on because now we're talking about the kids. So I think yeah. that they need to be mature adults. And <clears> hey, <throat> if y'all don't rock with each other, okay, but do not, do not affect the children's relationship with each other. If they are best friends, and they want to play with each other and do all that. Y'all need to grow the F up as adults and let the kids hang out with each other. These are little girls who are best friends and cousins. It is so wrong to let what you have, the conflict you have as adults to bleed over to the children. They don't need to know that y'all don't rock with each other. It's not right. that hard, baby. All you got to do is drop the kids off at each other's house for a few hours and go about your business and let them play and do what kids do. And you pick them up in a couple hours and be done. It can be high and by. It don't like, y'all don't have to, it just don't affect the children. I'm, I really am big on protecting children's innocence and letting kids be kids. And it pisses me off that they have let their BS as adults affect their children and their children's relationship with each other. That part, Monique, she said the family cycle is repeating itself. Mm -hmm. Do it their children. It's disturbing. I don't like it. I, I No, it's not right to do that to the children. It's not right at all. Right. And y'all, I know we've been here for an hour and 30 minutes. We're only going to be here maybe See, for this what happens when I, Nita don't have me to help regulate with the time now. She be trying to... <laughs> She be, getting, she be getting mad at me when I say, okay, Nita, let's wrap it up, sis. But look, <laughs> without me, this heifer talking about love and marriage Huntsville for an hour and a half. That's all I got to say. Okay. That's it. That's all right, it. Well, I'm going to let you wrap up this last segment about the pregnancy scare that oh, Leticia had. <laughs> you know, I while I get my refill. So can you do that, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So the damn pregnancy scare that Tisha had this season, y'all. We know what the story is. She was not feeling well. And her logic is, well, the last time I felt this way was when I was pregnant. So I decided to take a pregnancy test just to make sure. The caveat to that, y'all, is her husband, Marceau, had a vasectomy. So, you know, medically... There's like a 0.003% chance that he can impregnate anybody. So let's let's have, I want us to have an honest conversation. I want us to take all of our biases off the table. Let's take all of our feelings off the table and let's just think objectively, like for a second. Because I feel like when you don't like a person, it's easy to kind of like, you know, not misjudge, but it's e easy to have a strong opinion. But I want us to be fair because y'all know I don't go up for Marcel. I don't agree with him really about anything. Um, but I have to be fair and I have to be fair. And I do feel like if the shoe was on the other foot, you know, Tisha would be singing a different tune. A part of me, as annoying as Marceau is, a part of me understands his logic in this situation and where he's coming from. I, I really don't like to admit it, <laughs> but I have to be fair. And like I said, I'm taking feelings out of it. I'm trying to think from objective point of view and be fair. And I have to be fair. Bitch, why are you taking a pregnancy test if your man has had a vasectomy? It does look kind of weird. Now, we know Tisha can be kind of silly, and some people have called her stupid and dumb blonde. And so I don't know if she's having a dumb blonde moment and she's like, oh my God, I might be pregnant. Like, I don't, I don't know, but I have to be fair. And if I'm being fair, I understand why Marceau 
was a little bit suspect in the situation because at this point, Heifer, I had a vasectomy. There's a 0.003 chance that I can impregnate you or anyone else. Why are you taking a pregnancy test? That does look a little suspect. I will be fair and admit that. Now, I think Marceau is, you know, full of crap because on the flip side, he talking about some, oh, if she was pregnant, I would leave her. And it's like, Negro... All the times that Tisha has stood by your side, has defended you amongst umpteenth rumors, you know, is very, like Carlos says, it's very rich <laughs> of you, of all people, to say you would leave somebody. So I, I, I don't. What do you think about that, Nita? What do you think about the whole vasectomy thing and the pregnancy test and Marceau feeling like, well, damn, Heffa, did you cheat on me? Because there's a 0.003 chance. So what, uh, what you taking a test for? Right, right. Now, shout out to It's Rocks. Forrest Rocks said that she thinks that he was throwing her a storyline, something for people to talk about. And you know that Marceau is good and creative. And you saw how he just called Chris a sexist. <laughs> and, you know, people was just like laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think, just like Monique said, a storyline. Something to... But at the same time, we have to still think about the whole thing about how he wants her to trust him equivocally. Mm -hmm with all of the rumors mm -hmm. and then when he is asked yes or no and he answered yes or no he was not Latrice <laughs> on, on this question is she capable of stepping out on you he said yes she has a vagina and she has a mouth yep that's what he said but we're, we're not expected to have and, and she's probably faithful and he probably is not mm-hmm but he expects her to be faithful and have his back and protect him. And then he doesn't offer her the same thing. And mm -hmm. she hasn't given him any nothing mm -hmm. to, to formulate that and to not give her the same respect that she's given him. The same grace, the same respect, the same everything. We're in a committed relationship. We are married mm -hmm. under God. Indivisible, like this one, but <laughs> I that. Sounds fishy. Um, I don't, I don't think it's a storyline. I, I don't. Think I, I got, I got his reference though. I got the reference talking about well, if if I'm not cheating, why am I going to take a DNA test? Yeah, well, nigga, we don't know for sure that you ain't been cheating. Like I said, Tisha, do your homework. Get you a pre, a PI. And get mm -hmm. get it get it popping. Especially now he tells and he tells you and the and and the entire uh, I don't know a nas national TV that he don't trust you and that you're capable of cheating and he doesn't believe that you're not right. get you a motherfucker private investigator. Why are you gonna sit there and waste your life, girl? And you know, Marceau got to be the, always think he the smartest one in the room because he was talking about the, what was the word? The probability versus the, like he was saying, basically he was trying to say, do I think she will cheat on me? No, but I do I think she's capable of cheating on me? Yes. You know, he, he always got to be the smartest person in the room with all his technicalities and stuff. But I just, uh, uh, whatever. I, I mean, look, Tisha going to do what she want to do. I don't, I don't have a dog in the fight, nor do I care anymore. I move different. Uh, let me tell y'all when I would when I would have hired the PI. I would have gotten a PI uh, the minute that situation about um, the picture of his back at the hotel in the bed. Remember his wide back? <laughs> that picture. Mm -hmm. Once, I, baby. After that, that, that looks real to me. That, that looks real to me. very real to me. That, that is when I would have hired a PI and I wouldn't have given two shits about it. I would have easily hired a PI. Like, okay, I gotta get to the bottom of this because you're not about to keep doing this. Hell to the hell no. Yeah, Bill, because remember she said she she kept pressing him once she heard it. Yeah, she kept pressing Chris and he came out, he came forth right with it. Mm -hmm. But Marceau. 
he think he's the smartest person in the room. So he's going to deny, deny, deny. He's, uh, Tisha is dealing with a whole different man. Did you see how he just called Chris a sexist and Chris just sat there like this? He's, baby, I, listen, I can't. We giving my, <laughs> I can't. Marceau, Marceau is a master. He's a master at this. And might I say he's on Larry's level, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I am done talking about Marceau. I am. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done. That's it. Y'all make sure we get ready to rate it. Like I said, I had a good time with it. I was laughing and cackling. I don't know about nobody else, but I think I'm going to give this part of the um, reunion... Uh, a nine. That's good. I yeah. enjoyed it. I enjoyed I, it. Well, I, my favorite part. All three parts were very good. I thought this was one of their best reunion specials. Um, I agree with Carlos. I think the energy was better. Everyone was able to kind of like speak and give out their opinion and their feelings. Yeah. And I really, really um, thank you, Larry, for coming by. We really appreciate it. <laughs> And your comments. Yeah, we got two more shows. We're doing Potomac and uh, Married to Medicine. Now, Nita, how, what you want to do? Do you want to come back tomorrow night and finish everything, or how you feeling? No, I'm good. Because no. I want, I, I, I'm trying to stay up for Moochie. Oh. I, I, I want to stay up for the watch party, but. Okay, so yeah. we're about to do I don't, don't think, do. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Her, what time is her watch yeah. party at? Not a f- Monique. That's not fair, Monique Johnson. Now I'm a, I'm about to. I want to put the link down so you can tell us why because I thought this was entertaining. I, yeah, I was getting my life on this really one. special. This all three parts were good. <laughs> you coming over with a bottle of wine? Okay. Yes, Larry, please come. We were <laughs> on you. Um, Nita, we're about to do Bell Collective. No, we what are already, already Bell Collective, so we're getting ready to move oh. on to Bravo. Okay. We're getting ready to move on. I can probably hang for like 20 more minutes. Okay. All right, y'all. As I switch my stuff, make sure um, y'all are liking the video. Like, like, like. I'll be right back.